What is going on guys, Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I wanna cover every single important thing that happened last week and then prep you guys for this week. So hopefully you are watching this before market opens on Monday. We have a lot of stuff to cover with AMC, GameStop, the overall market, as well as some major banks. We're gonna give you the data. We're gonna give you the news. We're gonna give you the charts before the week starts. So without further ado, all I ask in return is for you guys to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Also hit that subscribe button, have post notifications on. Let's get into the video. Last week, Nvidia said it's planning to enter the PC chip market as soon as 2025. Bitcoin hit 35k for the first time since 2022. Facebook and Instagram were sued by multiple US states over harmful youth marketing and harming mental health of young people. California suspended General Motors self-driving division crews from operating driverless vehicles in the state. Bud Light signed the biggest sponsorship deal in UFC history. Microsoft reported its earnings and beat. Google reported its earnings and beat. Visa reported its earnings and beat. And also Visa announced a $25 billion stock buyback so shout out to visa and snapchat for also beating and announcing a 500 million dollar stock buyback plus bank of canada once again decided to not increase interest rates israel agreed to delay ground invasion of gaza till america can get its missile defenses in place facebook reported its earnings and beat facebook said it lost 4 billion in its metaverse in the last three months u.s gdp grew at 4.9 percent annualized in q3 above expectations amazon beat earnings intel reported its earnings and beat General Motors self-driving division crew said it would pause all driveless operations across all fleets. And of course, we talked about this. JP Morgan CEO said he would sell over $140 million worth of shares. Now that we got all of that important stuff out of the way, what else do we have to talk about? Now, JP Morgan CEO will sell $140 million of his shares over the next year. But keep in mind, this will be the first time in history he will be selling any shares. Now, here's what I'm noticing. Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, City, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan all selling off in tandem. The bank contagion is here. They're breaking below key support levels on their charts, as well as their credit default swaps starting to be on the rise again, nearing those all time high levels for all of these banks. Their CDSs are flying, their charts are falling, and overall, banks are in a good spot, as well as taking a look at Johnson & Johnson, which a lot of institutions like to hold, and a lot of retail as well hold in their long term portfolio. Johnson & Johnson flashing down, but take a look at this previous recovery on Johnson & Johnson, I think this is going to happen with the market. This flash down alongside the market and then flash back up. We have officially entered a correction with the market and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But Johnson & Johnson could be facing bankruptcy. They're facing a minimum of 18 jury trials in the next year, all linked to allegations of tainted talk in its iconic baby powder. This situation has prompted the company to consider a third bankruptcy filing in the hopes of facilitating a global statement. If their subsidiary LTL management files for bankruptcy again, it would provide the company with an opportunity to request a legal stay on all trials where they engage in negotiations with the legal representatives of talk victims. Judges had granted such stays during the first two chapter 11 filings by the LDL unit, although those cases were ultimately dismissed. Now you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on that intro of to what happened last week and then the update on banks. But overall, before we start the week, let's give you a touch on the data for AMC and GameStop before we touch on the chart 6.6 percent short interest utilization at 40 percent on amc cost borrow max right around eight percent and the average around one percent short exempts lowered again 157 126 and then 151 as well as the short percentage dropping to 27.1 percent which we usually never see again when we have low volume, you may see low short exempts, but at least it shows that they can't press it lower or at least aren't trying for the time being. 2.4 million shares available to borrow as well against AMC for the week starting with 11,000 calls that expired in the money from last week. And then more people are betting bullish on the weeks to come for AMC. So looking solid as well. Short exempts on GameStop low, but they are still pushing it into the floor because GameStop has very low volume. They don't need much here. Stock Tracker not reporting the options chain once again. Again, this glitch happens time and time again. If you guys know why, let me know in the comments. 500,000 shares available to borrow against GameStop. And overall, they are trying to get you to sell. When the sentiment is this strong and you see these news articles coming out at the degree they're coming out, it may be time for us to see some sort of rip in the stock. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But let's move on to some fundamental numbers. Box office for Five Nights at Freddy's debuts at number one with a $78 million opening weekend. So this movie, the highest opening weekend for a horror movie this year, the second highest opening for a video game movie ever, biggest opening for Blumhouse, the biggest Halloween weekend opening ever, the 
second biggest opening ever for a film debuting in theaters and on streaming at the same time. Highest 2023 opening for a film set in a pizzeria. Also, fundamental good news. Adam Aaron tweets for the first time ever. Movie offered by our AMC theaters distribution. We are so grateful that about 10 million of you have seen Taylor Swift, the era's tour in movie theaters. As of today, it crossed $200 million at the global box office. What a triumph for Taylor and AMC. So shout out AMC for doing fundamentally strong. Shout out Taylor. Shout out Five Nights at Freddy's and the new partnerships that are coming as well. Time to touch on the charts. GameStop closed the week at $13.12 and it is getting pushed down. The volume started to increase on this push down as well. It's testing the wedge like I said was going to happen. In my opinion, GameStop's coming down to 10.10 this week. Nothing else to be said. This is my price target. I am still in my puts and for the new people on my channel, I hold my GameStop shares for the long term. I'm just heading against myself because mark makers are pushing it through another cycle and i can identify that just to add more money to load up more shares it's as simple as that also if you want to know my trades as soon as i take them i drop them in discord i think 1010 is the level this week for gamestop so just watch that however i see amc doing the opposite volume increased as well but you can see amc holds up with a hammer candle the spy is bloody red and amc is trading flat which tells me they don't have a lot of powder to push amc lower they're dying down on these short exempts but also the market may be getting a turnaround because they sort of move in tandem we talked about that in a different video and i think once the spy starts to flash up amc is going to have that nasty rip that we're waiting for just watch 1075 and then 1325 this week for amc those are my targets but overall the spy is going to affect it and we're going to talk about the spy in one second but first before we do that guys join the discord the link is right under the video and i'm going to leave it in the comments section i'm in there on the daily so you can talk with me one-on-one -on -one. we get options trading alerts in there we have the best vibes in there with 500 of the most amazing people who talk stocks all day long we post gains post losses and i'm integrating something new that should be fully finished this week where you can copy my trades with the click of a button that link is right under the video guys join there it's only two bucks a month it's one coffee get in the discord and stop sleeping on it also guys if you want up to 16 free stocks each ride up to two grand per stock and a guaranteed free sofi stock use my link download mumu sign up and make a deposit for the ones who have signed up and made a deposit you guys are earning benefits and for the ones who signed up but didn't deposit you don't have those benefits yet so make sure to at least deposit a penny into your account so that they recognize that you made a deposit. Those links are under the description and pinned in the top of comments. Now there is a 99.9% .9 chance of no rate hike at this FOMC meeting and a 19% chance of another rate hike in December, which lines up exactly to that November rip that I have been talking about with the SPY. Now I said we were looking at 409. We hit 409.25, very close to that level. I see the SPY scaling up to 442.75 between November 3rd and November 10th. That is my time frame for that. And that's gonna be a nasty rip. And I will be putting my money where my mouth is betting on calls on this. Worst case scenario, I think Monday, market open, we flash down. If so, right? I don't think this is necessarily going to happen. We flash down, smash below 409, and then right back up before the end of the day. And we start moving higher and higher just to scare the last of the paper hands out. If I'm wrong and we're going deeper into a correction, I think the SPY will bottom at 400 or 405. But I don't think that is a likely scenario. Overall, I will be betting on it. If you want to know my trades as soon as I take them, join the Discord. This is my outlook on the SPY. Where do I think it's going to come Monday? If, if we do get that flash down, I think it may close about flat. However, I'm watching 413, a break back over 413 as my first target. And then between 417 and 417.75. Overall, guys, sorry I didn't upload yesterday. Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. It was a long day yesterday and we do have a busy schedule this week. If I don't upload, make sure to be in the Discord so you can come talk with me. Hey, Lottery Stocks, what are you doing today? Uh, what do you about this what do you think about that i am in there on the daily overall guys hit the like button on your way out check the links under the video i love you all lottery stocks out